Yes. Yeah. Uh, right now, I'm concerned about the attack that our Second Amendment is under, and I know the tendency towards our government to do a knee-jerk reaction that won't solve the problem, just makes some people feel good. I'd like to know where you stand on the red flag gun laws. I'm sure. concerned about that. So I appreciate this. Uh, there was a question two weeks ago, and I have subsequent. The question two weeks ago was the same thing, and I talked about domestic violence laws where you lose your weapon if you are charged with domestic violence and as a former domestic violence prosecutor I'm okay with that. Now I talked to the ranking member on judiciary Doug Collins and I asked him I was like how do you reconcile these issues and he said well easy that's not a red flag law and so in my mind it was a red flag law and I do support it but uh, his position is if you're charged with domestic violence and you have a temporary loss of your uh, uh, gun rights, that is not a red flag. And then I said, well, what about um, if somebody uh, tells their psychiatrist that they're about to go kill their wife and kids? I said, because if that person is going to, you know, temporarily lose their gun rights, I, th that's a different conversation. He said, well, that's not a red flag law either, because that is uh, essentially an a, a, immediate threat and there's variables to that in most states that are not considered red flag laws so all those variables to say i do not support the government saying you know you have ptsd you know you just came back from war you can't have a gun and um you know this is not as simple as um yes or no in my mind because it is a very complex thing when you do everything we can to be as safe as possible but the red flag laws that uh, are being proposed in Congress right now, I do not support.